kind of look like a prisoner. And I probably should go to the hospital. This time I'm making Rack from Maiden Abyss and I've already sketched out the pieces and figured out how I will be making them. And here I already have the material that I need and for arm and helmet I'm gonna use EVA foam. I added something to my shorts pattern and cut it out. Now I already cut out the shape that I needed and now I'm gonna finish pinning these down and then I'm gonna sew it. Now that this part is done, I can start sewing them together. The next thing is the stripe. You can see it's just this fabric wrapped with the green one because this is really nice to sew because it's so hard. that the front part is almost done I'm gonna start connecting the front with the back so I already drew the line where I'm gonna sew because these two parts are attached with three snaps And I'm also gonna wrap this in green fabric and then sew it on the back. This is how it looks, everything's sewn together. And now I'm gonna start making the belt. But instead of using an actual belt, I wrapped this elastic band with this brown material. And now I'm gonna sew this on. And I'm gonna make the bunny ear thingies just like this part. I'm gonna cut out the shapes and then I fill them with volume material. And after finishing the right leg, which I did the exact same way as I did with the side piece, I'm gonna add some snaps. Now I have all these pieces for the fingers and now I'm gonna put them on. I use gesso and flexi paint to prime it. Here I use aluminium foil to make it look damaged. After the primer I use acrylic paint.
the neck part I cut out the pieces that I need and glue them together. Just like I did with the arms, I used aluminium foil to add texture and then primed it. And while that dries, I'm gonna start making the cape out of linen. So on the front I sew it over, because I don't want this side to fray, instead I'm just gonna like fray it up here. Now I already glued in the fabric parts between these two layers and this is how it looks now. Kinda look like a prisoner with this neck thing, but if you'd only see this piece of the cosplay could be kind of weird. <laughs> for the helmet, I took the inner part of this costume helmet and then made a pattern for the helmet shape. And with this pattern, I'm gonna make the actual EVA helmet. Now that the base shape is almost done, I can go to the store and get some epoxy. That's a lie, I don't go outside. This is the epoxy that I got, and this is my mold. I'm gonna fill it in here. And the only thing that I could find to mix it up was this bottle, RIP 25 cents. This is my first time working with epoxy, and I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know how long I should mix it up. I'm just gonna pour it in. The helmet is almost done and the last step is the epoxy. It's quite heavy so I don't think that I'm gonna use it actually. While trying to get it out of this ball, I cut the tip of my finger and I probably should go to the hospital. But I just put the skin back on and now hopefully the blood is gluing it back together. But I'm still gonna not use this because it's way too heavy and it would take me way too much time to polish and sand and everything. Because I didn't use a silicone mold, what I will do next time. But for now, I'm gonna paint the inside of this and just glue it on. So this is the final cosplay, but before I show you the detail shots, please leave a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing. And let me know in the comments what you think would be cool to see next.
If you're still here, you might also enjoy the King Loki cosplay that I made. And thank you for watching.